Sailor Senshi, I'm Sailor Snubs, and welcome to my YouTube channel. As usual, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and comment below about what you want to see on my YouTube channel. This channel is brand new, but I'm super excited about it. And today I have another Mailbox Monday for you. So I have a small collection today of different things that I have purchased through proxies in Japan or that I purchased through friends on Instagram. I also have a whole bunch of pins that I got this month that I want to show you as well. As usual, if you're interested in any of these items, I'll put links and purchase prices below so that you can purchase them yourself. Otherwise, if it was an eBay purchase or something that is no longer available, I'll still put the prices down there so you can see how much stuff generally costs. Especially if you're thinking about buying things on eBay so you don't end up getting overcharged. I already cracked open one of these, but I'm gonna go ahead and get out my handy dandy knife and break into these and show you what I got. Okay, so let's go ahead and break into it with the first ones, which are all of the pins that I got. Now, as usual, these are fan-made pins so I consider them fan art and I like to support local artists especially in the North America continent. So the first ones that I got are from Utterly Magical Enamel Pins. Uh, you can find them over on Etsy. I'll put their link below in the show notes but I basically just got a couple of pin board fillers. So I got the rose gold and the I believe I got the nickel version of them but they're cute little they look like little Luna heads and they're so small that you can pretty much fill your board with these little pins so that your board looks nice and full which I truly appreciate. She also sent me one of the Sailor Moon stickers which I purchased and a nice little bookmark which is great because I'm a bookworm so I really appreciate that. Next are a couple of limited edition pins from Kawaii Crafts. So these include a cute little Elios Pegasus pin as well as the uh, Usagi bedroom set and she had these for sale at a convention and I'm so glad that she had some left to put online because I really really wanted them and I think they're so adorable so I think these will look great on my pin boards as well. This lovely silver crystal is from Heart Flower Designs on Instagram and I'll put her link in the show notes too and she has four different versions of this gorgeous pin and I decided to get I think it was variant number three but you can see all of them on her website and uh, she has really good sales so keep an eye out for those but I, I just love the sparkle and I really like the colors on this one so I just had to get it plus it's very small and compact so I really like that I can pretty much fit it anywhere. This gorgeous silhouette pen is from Looney Shop on Etsy and I absolutely love it and she sent a couple of really cute extras in the box as well. There's a Princess Serenity keychain and a really cute, it looks like her own art or somebody's art that she collabed with but this really pretty pen which is not Sailor Moon related but it's very gorgeous so I really appreciate these. I really love the silhouette art as you can see with the other pins that I have in the room so I really wanted to get my hands on one of these. There are a couple of marks on it, like there's a scratch in the middle of her neck, so I believe I must have gotten the B grade or the C grade versions of this one and not the A grade because obviously it's not an A grade pin. If you've never bought enamel pins online before, a lot of times makers will get them from a manufacturer and some of them will have defects, so they'll just discount the price a few dollars if they have defects and call them B grade or C grade depending on how many defects are in them. But you can still sell them online because a lot of people like to save money. And the last pin I got is from a magic girls collection from Sentimental Dollies on Etsy and this one features Chibi Yusa as well as Pegasus and it's super cute and I love that it's her own art so it's a really pretty rendition. The glitter is pretty, the colors look perfect with the rose gold enamel so I just loved it. I also got a couple of backers from them as well so these are little locks for your pin. I've never tested these before so I'm going to test them out because I have a backpack that I have a bunch of pins on and they tend to fall off so I was really looking Looking forward to checking these out and seeing if they actually lock onto the back of my pins and if they will keep them there so I don't lose them when I go to a theme park. And she sent candy so that's cool. Thank you very much for that. So moving on from the pins I also got a couple of things from proxy services, eBay sellers, or I got things from Instagram sellers as well. So the first one is from Twin Moto Sales on Instagram. I'll put their link in the show notes as well. They're really really sweet girls. Uh, they luckily price all of their items really fairly so I was really happy that I was able to find this. This is the Sailor Moon Super S Petite Shada set and it's the full set. It's got Chibiusa, Pegasus, and the three different <laughs> bad guy characters from Super S. So it's a really really cool set and something that I've had my eye on for a long time. I was very very happy to receive this. Given that I've collected so many Petite Shada in the last two months, I'm probably gonna have to find a better way to display them back there. So if you have any advice as far as like different 
like some kind of stand that I could probably buy, let me know. And if there's an Amazon link, let me know that too, because I'm looking for a better way to display these and then show y'all a big review of all the petite chadas that I have. I decided to purchase a really cute clear file that's pretty hard to find at a decent price. I got this for like two bucks. So I was very excited to add this to my collection because it's so cute. I love the little chibi characters. They're adorable. She sent a few little freebie stickers, which is awesome. Also from the same seller, I picked up this petite chata of Sailor Jupiter. I have a non-glitter variant of the same kind of Sailor Jupiter, the same style, but I wanted to get the glitter version. I'm trying to get all of the glitters of all the inners and outer scouts. Uh, so far I only have a couple, so I'm hoping to collect the rest of them eventually, but I'm just slowly adding them to my collection. So she's the newest one. Also, I find it kind of funny that both the clear file and that petite Chara Jupiters are almost in the same stance as each other. I don't know. It, it's like they run out of art sometimes. All right. Now from an eBay seller, I picked up this adorable Luna P. So this is from USJ, which is Universal Studios Japan. It's located in Osaka. Although I've been to Osaka, I've never been to USJ Japan, but they're currently doing this really cool like 4K exhibit show interactive event with Sailor Moon uh, that you can go and check out. And they're selling a whole bunch of really, really cute stuff. I do have a proxy service shipping me a slew of items from USJ, so I'll do a separate USJ video and I'll probably include this in there as well. But this is the first item that I've gotten from the USJ collection since I can't go there this year. It's very small, so I'm really happy that I looked up how big it would be before I received it. But this is basically a cute little Luna P purse type thing that's very small. Its head lifts up so you can put things inside of it. I live in California, so it's probably big enough to put some weed in. That's probably about it. But it actually has a really good design on it. There's no flaws that I can see whatsoever. And the nice little lanyard that's looped around her head just says Sailor Moon Universal Studios Japan on it. All right, so the last thing that I got for today is my Hobby Link Japan purchase. This is a very small box that I got from Hobby Link uh, because there wasn't too much that I wanted to purchase this time around, but I got three different plushies. I know I said I don't collect plushies. I really don't unless you look right in front of me behind the camera and then you will see a huge collection of plushies that I just have not shown on camera yet, but they aren't Sailor Moon related, so it doesn't matter. But these are the three different plushies that I received from Hobby Link Japan. They are Sailor Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto, of course. They didn't have Saturn in stock. I don't know if she's a part of this collection, I'll have to find out, but these are Toei, animation products so they do have the toei sticker on them and each of them has a nice little label on them as well which i'm definitely going to tear off and i know that'll tick off some of the collectors out there but yeah, whatever i like tearing off labels these are really nicely made actually they have those nice embroidered eyes which i really appreciate they're really really soft i really like the cloth that they're made out of and everything's sewn really well so there's no loose threads and it looks like their their butts are so huge you can just sit them down and they will stay upright which is really cute. So that is everything from my mailbox Monday today. I, again, know it was rather small, but it was a mailbox Monday that I was really looking forward to because these were all some small items that I wanted to add to my collection. If you want to see a review of any of the products today, definitely leave a comment below. I do read the comments, so I really appreciate any input that you have for this very new YouTube channel. And again, my name is Sailor Snubs. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you next time. Jane.